Yes, Marcus Kerber is a political coordinator at the CDU, and you have your own questions about the project and about the ECB as well, which we'll get to in a few moments' time. But before we get to the present uh, and the future, I have to ask you, because having a, a senior member of the CDU with me is a real privilege as well, some really big mistakes were made on the CDU's watch in terms of the relationship with Russia as well. Is the CDU going through some soul-searching about that relationship? No, because I think the CDU did not make decisions in the past uh, uh, for its own sake. Uh, it was always coalition governments. And more importantly, I think we were all running on the same political software in the three decades since 1990. Uh, the end of history, uh, uh, no more controversies, no more big power struggles, no more uh, systemic competition. That was the basic assumption, basically in all of Europe. Now, if this was your DNA, you would think you could have cooperation with almost anyone in the world. And it proves, probably as early as 2001 with 9-11, that the world we so much desired for in 1990s, especially in Germany, wasn't the real world because there was still competition out there, there was still systemic rivalry, and yes, there were partners out there who didn't deal fairly with each other. So there is a big awakening, or as Chancellor Scholz said, a Zeitenwende. Mm. And I think soul-searching, yes, but not particularly and exclusively in the CDU. But, but Marcus, you, you, you talk about DNA, so I'll run with that as well. You, you talk about genetics, but I, I talk about epigenetics as well, i.e. the change in those genes over a very short period of time as well. When you realise the part that when we saw what was going on in Chechnya, we saw what was going on in Transnistria and other places as well, we saw what was happening in 2014 as well, we were just so slow to react in Europe. It was a major mistake, for, and, and, and I take on board your point about it not just being about the CDU, but as a bloc, we look naive now. And Mr. Trump, whatever one may think about him, he saw this. Yes, he did, and many other non-European uh, powers also did. But there was this, and still is in some parts of Europe, that desire to have a new uh, uh, form of politics going on, in, especially in the international sphere, but that, this has proven wrong. And I think we're running up a steep learning curve now, which brings us back to pre-1990 days and the rules of international politics. Yeah. But I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that both Germany and Europe are climbing that uh, uh, learning curve uh, yeah. pretty damn well at the moment.